Now we're going to prove commutativity of addition on the natural numbers. In other words, for all x and y in the natural numbers, x plus y equals y plus x. Now recall that addition is defined recursively on the first argument. So the definition of plus is given by saying 0 plus y is y and successor of x plus y is the successor of x plus y. Now we're going to prove commutativity of addition by induction on the x. So that means we'll have two cases. We'll have to prove 0 plus y equals y plus 0. And then we'll need to prove that the successor of x plus y is y plus the successor of x. Now in this second case, we'll have an induction hypothesis, which will say that for x, we already know commutativity. So x plus y equals y plus x. Let's look at the base case first. By definition, the left-hand side is just y. So we need to show that y equals y plus 0. Unfortunately, we don't know anything about this plus 0. We need some kind of lemma that says if you add something to 0, it doesn't change it. So let's prove that first. So the lemma we need says x plus 0 always equals x. We'll prove this by induction on x. That means we'll have two cases again. It'll be 0 plus 0 is 0. And successor of x plus 0 is successor of x. And in this case, we have an inductive hypothesis, which says x plus 0 equals x. The base case, well, by definition, this is 0. So we know 0 equals 0. We're done. And the successor case, it's also very easy. By definition, the right-hand side is successor of x plus 0. And now we can rewrite with the inductive hypothesis, and this simply becomes successor of x, and we're done. So using this lemma, we can rewrite the right-hand side to simply be y. And now we need to show y equals y. And of course, we know y equals y, so we're done. Now let's look at the inductive case. We need to prove the successor of x plus y is the same as y plus successor of x. In this case, we have an inductive hypothesis to work with. We can use the definition of plus to reduce this to being successor of x plus y. And then we can rewrite with the inductive hypothesis, and then it becomes successor of y plus x. So now then, the left-hand side and the right-hand side are almost the same. We just need to show the successor of y plus x is the same as y plus the successor of x. Again, we need to prove a lemma. We need to prove a lemma about adding something to a successor. So this lemma says that if you add x to successor of y, then what you get is the successor of x plus y. We'll also prove this by induction on x. So that means, again, we have two cases. 0 plus successor of y should be the successor of 0 plus y. And we need to show that the successor of x plus the successor of y is the successor of successor of x plus y. And in the second case, again, we get an inductive hypothesis, which says that x plus successor of y equals successor of x plus y. Now in the base case, we use the definition and simplify this to simply be successor of y. And the 0 plus y also simplifies to y. So in the end, we need to show successor of y is successor of y and that we know by reflexivity. Now let's look at the inductive case. We simplify the left-hand side to be successor of x plus successor of y. And now we can rewrite with the inductive hypothesis, 
and it becomes successor of successor of x plus y. This is almost the same as the right hand side, but not quite yet, because this has successor of x, this has successor of x plus y. But we simply simplify underneath the successor, and we get successor of x plus y. Now the left hand side and right hand sides are the same, so we're done. Now if we rewrite with this lemma, the right hand side becomes successor of y plus x as we want, and now we're done.